Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Pokemon Stadium. My name is Andy, I am the Uncommentator, and this is episode 15 of this series where we are working through Pokemon Stadium, completing the game using rental-only Pokemon. So in the last episode, we defeated Erika, so at the end of that episode we were 35% of the way through the series, so we seem to be rattling through pretty quick. So if we can now defeat the Biker, the Tamer, the Juggler, and Koga, then we'll move on and have episode 15 all wrapped up. So... Let's crack on and pick the team, the rental team of course, that will hopefully get the job done. So we'll start off with Butterfree, and then we're going to give Beedrill another chance to win the MVP award, as it came so close in the last episode. Then we're going to go for Alakazam, and then three interesting Pokemon coming up. The first of which is Lickitung, then that one, one of my least favourite Pokemon, and finishing off with Porygon, of all things. So that's the team. Let's go. So we need to kill the biker, tame the tamer, go for the juggler, and then we can battle Koga. So let's have a look at the team. Butterfree, um, good special, and it's got Psychic, got Mega Drain as well if we need it. Uh, Beedrill, pretty much it's going to be Twin Needling like we did in the last episode. Alakazam, really high special, really quick. Uh, not the greatest move set to be fair, but it's got such high special that I don't think it matters too much. Uh, Lickitung, a bit of a tank and got Earthquake, so good coverage move. Kangaskhan, don't like it, never have done, never will. Uh, but decent stats, Dizzy Punch could be useful. Rock Slide, good coverage move as well. And last but not least, Porygon, good defense and good special and Psychic in the back pocket. So um, that could be a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a sleeper, that one. Right, so to start off with, we're going to pick Lickitung. We're going to pick Porygon. And we're going to pick Beedrill. So basically, we're super effective against everything, apart from Lickitung uh, against Venonat, which is neutral. Uh, and if Ditto comes out, we'll just have to basically, I don't know, gang up on it. So, let's go. So plenty of, um, plenty of type advantages for this one, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Ah, a cool tent. That's what all. That's what all. Uh, that's what all campers like to buy before they uh, set off. Right. Don't don't confuse me. Please go for a water move. Oh god. <laughs> Miss. No. Nope. Okay. Negative five HP. Uh. Right. God, I think I can't paralyze me. I think I'm. I think everything I've got slow. I'm just gonna have to stay in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just stay in and wait for Rap to miss. I've got no choice here. I'll stay in. If it hits again, then I'll switch. I don't want I don't want Lickitung to take all the hits. Having said that, I'll have everything on the team, Lickitung's probably the least the least important. The two are uh, more useful. I'd hardly call them fireworks. For Pete's sake. Is it two to five turns it goes on for? Come on. Got distracted then, sorry about that. Right, please miss. Nope, okay. Right, I'm going to switch to Beedrill, because Beedrill's my quickest Pokemon, so if it outspeeds Beedrill, then we know it's going to outspeed Porygon, so we'll go to Beedrill. As long as we can get rid of this uh, tentacle, we'll be fine. Right, um, Twin Needle, obviously, don't know what I was thinking about that. Ooh, we outspeed. That's useful. That? Wasn't sure. And that's useful as well. That hopefully is an Oko. Oh, there we go. A, a cool move, knocking out a cool tent. Which Pokemon is coming out? Right, that speeds things up a little bit. Oh, it's Grimer. Grimer. 
Right, so once again, we're super effective with Twin Needle, so we'll just stay in. No critical hit this time, sadly. Okay. <sighs> How would I describe facing a tentacle? Uh, grim, I think, would be the... Uh, also, got another uh, another leaning line to that. No, don't switch. I was gonna do my I was gonna do my second joke then. Another joke line though. You've ruined it now. Oh. I was hoping coughing was gonna come out because I had a joke. I had a great. Well, I say great. <laughs> it's some great in the loosest possible sense. I had a great joke lined up for that one too. But, alas. If you want to follow Venon out on Twitter, um, its handle is at Venon. So there's gifs and uh, pics and filters galore on there, whatever uh, whatever young people do nowadays. Well, that was a pointless switch. So, Grimer, may, may the, may the uh, line, may the joke uh, was... Um, Who's your favourite character in the Thin Blue Line? And if you get that joke, then uh, I want to be your friend. Even if you don't find it funny, just the fact you get it. Well, apparently most of my um, most of my viewers are American, so I'm guessing they won't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, so I really need to get more um, more American-based content. Although unfortunately, it's just not it's not something I really know that much about. Um, I like basketball and wrestling, I suppose that's American, isn't it? But, um, yeah, some of my TV references. They'll be lost on uh, my transatlantic viewers. If you're listening, though, to be fair, though, the fact I'm creating a video and someone halfway around the world is watching it, I do find that slightly mind-blowing. Anyway, um, right, so this battle against the Tamer, now this is going to be a bit of an annoying one because he's basically all his moves are critical hit moves. Um, so, Kingler, he's just going to go for Crab Hammer. Sand Slash and Scythe is going to be Slash. Ivysaur Weeping Bell is going to be Razor Leaf. And Machoke is probably going to be Low Kick, but it may be Karate Chop. So, yeah, we're going to need it. We're going to need a bit of luck here with the matchups. So, for us, we're going to pick Butterfree, Beedrill, and Kangaskhan. So, Butterfree, super effective against Ivysaur and Weeping Bell. And Sand Slash and Kinglet and Machoke. So Butterfree's gonna be quite important. Beedrill, uh, Quad, uh, not Quad, is it Quad? Yeah, Quad against Weeping Bell and Ivysaur, also super effective against Kingler. Um, it also resists Machoke if it goes for a fighting move. Kangaskhan, Quad effective against Scyther. We really need Kangaskhan for Scyther. Um, yeah, not sure yet. Certainly don't want Kangaskhan against um, the two grasses. So let's see what we've got first. Right, that's a perfect start. That's what we needed. Unless he's got Karate Chop. I hope he hasn't got Karate Chop. So we'll go straight for Psychic. To be honest with you, I wouldn't mind a switch here. Because it would just be a free Psychic. Yeah, over half. Ugh, that's annoying. Any chance of a miss? No, that's okay, didn't do much damage. That's fine. We'll take that. I'd have snapped, I'd have snapped your hand off for this. Match out starting. This is the one we really needed. We really needed Butterfree for Match out, so that's fine. Right. Now I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's he's got I'm hoping he's got at least one of the grass types. Don't really want to see Sand Slash. Ah. Right. The Scyther. Okay, um. I'm tempted to stay in here, actually. It may go for. No, it's gonna go for slashes. It's not gonna go for wing attack. Right, I'm gonna stay in. Hope I can survive one. Yeah, we'll stay in. Come on. Please survive one. It's gonna be close. No, no chance. Okay. I've got to hit this rock slide. I've got to survive this. I've got to survive this two slashes actually, and hit this rock slide. 
This is the battle right here. I don't think Rockslide's going to be an Oko, that's the problem. So, Rockslide. How many slashes can I take? I need to be able to take four, ideally. I've got a mountain of HP, which is good. Yeah, that, yeah, there we go. That's 62 damage, so... Ooh, it's going to be close, especially if this misses. There we go, we're okay. We're okay. Ooh, it did knock it out. I didn't think it would, actually. Right, so now we're in a nice position. Now, ideally, I want the last Pokemon to be... Just not Sand Slash, basically. Anything but Sand Slash. That'll do. That will do. So, Ivy. Um, right, there's going to be a joke for that one. But I can't think what it is, so let's just get on with it and go straight for Dizzy Punch. I'm quite effective with Twin Needle, so... And I think I quad resist I've, uh, I quad resist Razor Leaf, so I don't think there's much chance of me losing here. What now? Even if this knocks me out, which it may do, because my, my special is dreadful. Can I just cling on? I can! So now you know how I feel when I'm up against the Kangaskhan. And it just hangs about forever. Not bother going for Leah. Yeah, no, oh, another Dizzy Punch. I like Dizzy Punch. Well, I, I like the animation for it, anyway. Right. There goes the Kangaskhan. So, just the Beedrill to go. And I think I may have been out of speed here. But even if I don't, it won't knock me out. And I just need to hit one Twin Needle. And then we can move on to the Juggler. Which is going to be an interesting one. Speaking of jokes, let's see if Professor uh, Professor Jokes still on his uh, still on his world tour. Let's see what he's going to say about here, um, about here, about this gym. Koga, the mysterious the mysterious ninja master of Fuchsia City, has very has has a few. Start again. In fact, no, we won't. Let's go to the next battle. I made a mess of that. I won't never get a job on Jack and Ori. Right. So that was fairly straightforward. Got, we, we, were, we were a bit lucky, to be fair, that um, Machoke started. This, that's, that's the sort of battle you don't really want to be switching in on. Unless you're switching in on a resistance. Ooh. A lot of psychic. Right. Okay, I don't know the theme for this, but I'm assuming, it's a, I'm assuming this is a metronome battle. Um, right, so for us, it's going to be Licky Tongue. It's going to be Porygon. And it's going to be Kangaskhan. Uh, so basically, we're just picking the ones with the highest attack. That's kind of that's kind of the uh, the theme here. Obviously, Kadabra, Abra, Mister Mime um, have poor defense, so we'll just hit normal moves on those. Um, we've got Thunderbolt against Slowbro, so that's that's useful. Uh, if the Jowjite right, no comes out, just going to do our best basically. Right, let's go. Yep, so go for the strongest physical attackers. Obviously, we could have gone Beedrill, but. It's weak to Psychic, so if it has got Psychic moves, then that's why I haven't picked Beedrill. But I do think this will be a Metronome battle. Didn't want to see Hypno, but you never told I was going to. Right, so we'll just go straight for Body Slam here. Let's see what it comes back with, though. Will it be Hypnosis? No, it's going to be Mimic. Okay, interesting. Although, despite... Yeah, I made a mess of reading that Oak thing, but I didn't actually realise... Um, if Koga, well, I, I knew Koga was a ninja, but thinking about it, if Koga's a, that's useful, that's really useful, I understand me enough for that. If Koga's a ninja, then why isn't he a fighting trainer? Why is he a poison trainer? Well, <laughs> I'm the first to moan, but this could be going much better. A critical hit. Nah, I wonder if his gimmick's Mimic then. But if he's got a Mimic gimmick... <laughs> I don't think they'll all have Mimic. Sure, there's going to be some... Uh, there's going to be some... Uh, um, not Amnesia, what's the word? What's the, what's the move? Metronome, that's it. I'm just, there's got to be some Metronome knocking about. Yeah, if Koga's a... Um, if Koga's a ninja, why isn't he a fighting uh, trainer? Instead of a poison. Unless there's some kind of... I don't know, Japanese mythology that... Poison and fighting and ninjas are somehow linked. Uh, sorry, poison and ninjas are somehow linked, but... 
Okay. I've not really looked up on Japanese mythology, unfortunately, so I can't answer that question, but it does seem a bit odd, doesn't it? Why, why a ninja type's not a, a fighting? <sighs> the only two I didn't want to see, and they both come out. Although that, that couldn't have really gone much better. No, so, we'll stick with Body Slam. We're going to get out sped again, yes. Oh, another Mimic. Another Mimic. Maybe it is a Mimic gimmick. Okay. It's not in the world, to be honest. If, it, if, it's only, if it's only move is supersonic, we must have another move, surely. Wow, okay. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Two body slams and two paralysis. That is round two. That's AI round two level stuff there. Well, Lickiton put itself in the frame for the MVP here. Despite it showing in the first battle. Good. Well, this is nice and easy so far. Yeah, I'll go Earthquake, mix it up a bit. The bottom half of Drowsy looks like it's been in some mud or ground, so let's uh, let's make it feel at home. Is it supposed to resemble some kind of hippo? Because there was a hypno, looks nothing. If it was a hippo, that'd be interesting. A hip, hip no, hip hippo no. So yeah, well, well, well. you may have missed a trick there, uh, Ken Sugi thingy, me Bob. Although I think he's made enough money that he doesn't need to worry about that. Okay, now Mr. Mime, surely he's going to mimic. That's the whole. <laughs> that's his whole thing, isn't it? Uh, right. Uh, body slam. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, a mimic gimmick. <laughs> Brilliant. I like that. Can we get three from three on paralysis? I kind of we don't actually. In a weird sort of way. I don't, I don't know. If I'm showing sympathy to a computer game. It certainly, it certainly doesn't show any to me, and it's. Last time I checked, computer games don't have any feelings, but I may be wrong on that one. Okay, so it learned Earthquake, but go for Seismic Toss. Fair enough. So I think it's safe to say we're on to the final, up against the Ninja. Let's try and read Oaks, uh, Oaks blurbing. Let's see if he's still doing his comedy, uh, comedy trail. I didn't do it justice last... wow. I didn't do it justice last time. They are, uh, and the last Pokemon, the last move, sorry, Body Slam, there we go. Koga, the mysterious ninja master of Fuchsia City, has a few very poisonous Pokemon. You really need Pokemon from the elemental categories, Rock and Psychic in your team, to prevent a huge calamity. This is the only way to beat Koga. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong, actually, because I don't have a Rock type, and I'm going to beat him, so you're, you're wrong there. But to be fair, he makes a good part. I don't know why I don't pick a rock type for this battle. Because especially the um, the slasher critical hit one. Why do I not? I should have a rock type. Obviously, uh, Kangaskhan's got a rock move. But a rock type would have been useful for that battle. Having said that, if neither the slashers come out, then it's useless really. Because it's weak to water, weak to fighting. If if Macho does indeed have uh, does indeed have low kick. And weak to grass. Although, according to the guide, I just noticed the macho component has a fire move. Anyway, right. So, all poisons here. I think his gimmick Pokemon... Not his gimmick. His, um... Like, mascot one they always picked. I think is Venomoth. Although, I said in the last episode, I think Erica always picks Bioplume and she didn't. So, maybe they don't. Maybe that's just a fallacy. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, we're going to pick Porygon. Uh, Alakazam, because it hasn't come out yet. And Beedrill. So Porygon, super effective against everything with Psychic. Alakazam, super effective against everything with Confusion. And Beedrill, super effective against everything with Twin Needle. So I think we'll be fine here. There may be a, there's probably going to be some kind of curveball hidden amongst it, but we'll see. Also, Porygon's, uh, sorry, uh, Alakazam's got Dig as well. So a couple of choices there. Right. Weezing first. Like I said, Porygon's only weakness is fighting, so I think we're going to be safe in that respect. So we'll go straight for Psychic. Probably going to get outsped here, I would have thought. Yep, decent defense as well. So as long as it's just. Does this lower defense or is it just acid that lowers defense? Okay, that's not in the world. It's not badly poisoned like Toxic would be. Can I knock this Weezing out? Hopefully so. Get us off to a decent start. Ooh, I was hoping it'd be two hit kill. So we'll have to take two more hits if I want to knock this out. Sludge again, plus the poison damage. 
Yeah, we ain't knocking this out unless we get a critical hit here. The Porygon is gone. Yeah, well, we got off to a start at least. Maybe should have maybe should have used conversion. Are they switch here? No, no, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I don't know. We'll leave it. Doesn't matter. Don't think we need to save Porry. No. Okay. Can I wish I switch? If I knew if I knew that was coming, I'd have switched. I was gonna switch to Alakazam, but I thought if it gets a sludge away against Alakazam, it'll do a lot of damage. So. And then that made me think, oh, shall I go to Beedrill? Yeah, if I'd known that was coming, I would have gone to Alakazam. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we'll go Alakazam. It should, Alakazam should sweep from this position, so... Uh, I would imagine, because it, of its speed. I may go for Dig here, just for a laugh. Has it got a flying tap? Nah, let's go Dig. Screw it. Let's have a bit of fun. Although only 21 minutes, this is probably the, maybe the quickest episode. If I'd uh, just gone on with it and gone for confusion. Yep, sludge. Savage attack. Oh, that's a miss. What a furious battle. What if he'll switch? I can't hope he does actually. He's got Venom off, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, dig, digs, digs neutral against Venom off and Venom up. Oh, there goes the wheezing. I'm assuming it's going to be Venom off. How did I guess? Maybe I am psychic. Well, I think it'll affect it. Announce a guy by me kicking its butt. But we'll see. Straight of confusion, which doesn't guarantee... Oh, that's useful. That may knock it out, actually. Yeah, without the critical hit, I don't think that would have knocked it out, even though it's super effective, because it's not the strongest move. I don't know what its power is, but it's not... It's no higher than 60, I know that. Doesn't always guarantee confusion either. Which is a bit of an odd uh, thing for a move called confusion. Right, Need Arena. Kind of just sent in Beedrill now. It's not going to get a chance to... Uh, could have shown a bit of favouritism and sent in Beedrill. But no, we'll see with the boring old Alakazam. So we'll have a think about the MVP choices. Oh, freeze me! Freeze me! Go on! I dare you! Oh, boo! You suck! Why'd you freeze me? Then Beedrill could have come in and stole the glory. So, one more confusion. Uh, yeah, so MVP. Um, I don't really want to give it to Alakazam. Don't really want to give it to Porygon. I don't really want to give it to Kangaskhan, but... Licky Tongue Kick... Let's just think about Biker... What are they as Biker? Licky Tongue got knocked out and then Beedrill finished things off. Tamer was a bit of a team effort. Well, it was mainly Butterfree, to be fair. Well, Butterfree... Actually, no, it was mainly Kangaskhan, wasn't it? Um... Juggler, Licky Tongue just swept, I think, didn't it? And then that one, Porygon, did a bit. Now. I'm going to give it Kangaskhan, and the reason why... Just to, just to show there's no prejudice, that's one reason. But the reason why I'm going to give it Kangaskhan is because, for me, the Tamer's the hardest battle. And that was the most... That did the most damage, and... Um, was the was the, was the the best in that battle, I think. Just ahead of, just ahead of Butterfree. So I'm going to give it Kangaskhan. So Kangaskhan's the MVP, as much as it really pays me to say that. That is episode 15 done. So we're well on our way now, so we've got five more episodes of round one, where we're going to take on Sabrina, Blaine, Giovanni, the Elite Four and the Rival, and then finish off with the Mewtwo battle. If you're enjoying this series, then please give this video a like or a share, or the entire playlist. Uh, leave a comment if YouTube will allow you to. Also, please check out my other series that's on the channel, where I do Pokemon Stadium 2. It's a lot of fun and laughs. In inverted commas, well, I think that's funny. Uh, a few laughs and uh, a lot of fun to be had in that, in that uh, series as well. So please go and do that. But join me next time, uh, episode 16, we're going to be taking on Sabrina. But for now, it's Sayonara.